Without light, there would be no sight. We see the objects as a result of the complex interaction of light, our eyes and brain. Once light reaches our eyes, signals are sent to our brain and our brain analyzes the information. If you were to turn off the lights in the room for a moment in the night, then you would notice that nothing in the room would be visible. The room and everything in it would look black. The appearance of black is merely a sign of the absence of light. A room full of things looks black. Then the objects are neither generating nor reflecting light to your eyes. And without light, there would be no sight. The objects that we see can be placed into one of two categories, luminous objects and illuminated objects. Luminous objects are objects that generate their own light. Illuminated objects are objects that are capable of reflecting light to our eyes. The sun is an example of a luminous object while the moon is an illuminated object. We see objects in the room because of bulb or similar light source like lighted candle. Luminous objects generate light to illuminate non-luminous objects which can be seen with our eyes. Let us perform a simple activity. We are going to take this laser light and point it at the mirror. As I am pointing it at an angle, it should reflect from the mirror on this cardboard. Presence of light cannot be detected as it travels through air up to the mirror and again to the cardboard. Only locations where it is visible are the ones where light strikes the mirror and the cardboard. At these locations, portion of the light is reflecting from the objects and traveling towards my eyes. There is nothing in between mirror and my eyes that can reflect light back. To visualize light path in this setup, let's sprinkle some chalk dust. The path of the light beam can now be seen. It is only by reflection that we as well as most of the other objects in our physical world can be seen. Let us study the way light reflects from objects and travels to our eyes in order to allow us to view them. Everything that can be seen is seen only when light from that object travels to our eyes. Whether it be a luminous object that generates light of its own or an illuminated object that reflects the light that is incident upon it, you can only view the object when light from that object travels to your eyes. Let's look at that plant. You can see the top of this plant because light reflects from the top and travels to your eyes. If you wish to see the vase or container, you will have to direct your eyes towards the vase or container. If you wish to view the image of the plant in the mirror, you must direct your sight along a line towards the location of plant's image. This directing of our sight in a specific direction is sometimes referred to as the line of sight. In order to view an object, you must sight along a line at that object and when you do, light will come from that object to your eyes along the line of sight. While simple, this concept of the line of sight is very important. This very principle of the line of sight will assist us in understanding the formation of images. Let's find out location of an image of the pencil using this activity. We will investigate the manner in which light from object travels to our eyes. Two pencils are taken and inserted into eraser which acts as a stand. Small mirror is placed on the table. One pencil will act as object pencil and the other one as the image pencil. Object pencil is placed in front of the mirror. Let's try to keep the image pencil on the other side of the mirror. Viewing the object pencil from the left side of the mirror. While doing so, 
image and image pencil should be aligned and appear as one. Repeat the same activity from right side of the mirror. Align the image pencil such that it is always aligned with image and object from any location in front of the mirror. This location of an image pencil is where the image of an object appears to be located. As you see the image of the pencil in the mirror, light travels along your line of sight towards your eye. Object pencil is illuminated by light source in the room. Rays from this pencil travel along a line towards the mirror. This ray of light is known as incident ray light approaching the mirror. The incident ray intersects the mirror at the same point where your line of sight intersects. The light ray reflects from the mirror and travels to your eyes. This ray of light is known as reflected ray. Thus, to view the image of an object in a mirror, you must sight along a line at the image. One of the many rays of light from the object will approach the mirror and reflect along your line of sight to your eye. The second important idea from this activity is related to the location of an image. Observe in the diagram that the image is positioned directly across the mirror along a line that runs perpendicular to the mirror. The distance from mirror to object is known as object distance. The distance from mirror to image is known as image distance. For all plane mirrors, object distance is same as image distance. If a ray of light could be observed approaching and reflecting from a flat mirror, then the behavior of the light as it reflects would follow a predictable law known as the law of reflection. Draw a perpendicular at a point where incident ray and reflected ray meet. This is called normal line. This normal line divides the angle between incident ray and reflected ray into two equal angles. The angle between incident ray and normal is known as angle of incidence. The angle between reflected ray and the normal is known as angle of reflection. These two angles are labeled with the Greek letter theta accompanied by a subscript read as theta i for angle of incidence and theta r for angle of reflection. The law of reflection states that when a ray of light reflects from a surface, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. We can see that the reflected ray and the incident ray are on the opposite sides of the normal and are in the same plane. We learnt that light reflects from surfaces in a predictable manner as per the law of reflection. This predictability concerning the reflection of light is applicable to the reflection of light from horizontal surfaces, vertical surfaces, angled surfaces and even curved surfaces.